What's up everyone? I hope you're all doing great. Now I want to discuss something with you. You know, there have been a lot of visions and prophecies about Michelle Obama concerning who she really is and then what she is about to do in the future. So many people have brought in visions and prophecies about her. Now, if you watch some of the videos on my channel, just recently, a sister sent in a message about Michelle Obama. And this sister claims that God revealed to her what Michelle Obama is about to do and certain events that is going to take place. And I think most of what she said has already started taking place. Just recently, Biden took the decision to step down. And uh, this was actually in relation to what she stated. You can find a video on my channel. And, you know, today what I'm about to share with you is also a vision that God gave to another woman concerning who really Michelle Obama is her real identity in the spiritual realm. And this is going to take you quite deeper into whatever that you've heard about her. I don't know what you've heard about Michelle Obama, but I think this is also going to open your mind on certain things that you need to know. However, I want you to take precautions into believing certain messages that you receive. You know, I keep saying this, that I don't expect you to come on this channel to believe in every message that you receive here. It is your right as a Christian to take whatever message you receive to him for discernment to seek the truth. You know, most Christians feel they are obliged to believe every message that comes in the name of God. And this is the mistake we do. I do not guarantee any message. It is only God that can guarantee the truth of a message. So if you go on any channel on YouTube or any message you come across on the internet, make sure that you do not absorb the message into believing that it is the truth. Take it to God because you have the right as a Christian, you have the right as a child of God to take the message to the Lord, pray about it, and then God is going to give you a discernment. There are people when they bring out their visions, when you read their message, they boldly declare that people should seek discernment on their message. And I really love that. Most people will advise you in their story that you need to seek discernment from the Lord, but not to believe in what they are saying. And when I receive such messages, I feel very glad. And then it prompts me to share their message with you. Okay, so that is the best thing you need to do by seeking discernment from the Holy Spirit. Okay, so I am going to read this message out the same way it was sent to me and no part has been taken out and nothing has been added to it. So just pay close attention as I proceed with the reading. My name is Amelia. I am a lover of God. And I have desired always to see the kingdom of God advance in this dark age we find ourselves. I usually go out for evangelism as the Spirit leads me. Before this experience, the Lord had been instructing me to conduct personal evangelism. Most times when I am coming back from work while on the bus, I talk to people about Jesus and I thank him for the grace he had made available to me and the souls he had drawn to himself over the years. On the 26th of March, my shift had just ended at work, and I was so tired. Immediately I got home. I felt my eyes grow heavy, so I just thought of resting for a while before getting in prayer that night. But unfortunately for me, I woke up the next morning. You know that feeling when you feel very sleepy and you tell yourself that you're going to sleep for a while and pray, but it didn't work out because you woke up the next morning. It's funny, but I asked the Lord to forgive me because I chose sleeping over praying. Now, I am going to go straight to the point why I am here. This is what I saw. Do not take my words for now, brothers and sisters. Just test my spirit from the Lord, just to be sure of the truth. Maybe I might not have received this from the Lord, but I personally know within me that the Lord gave me this. Something strange happened. In my sleep, my surroundings and everything around me began to change. 
and I felt a sharp shift in my consciousness. It was as if I was being drawn into another planet. I tried to shake off the feeling, but it was impossible. I was no longer in my room this time. I found myself on a massive ship and I didn't know where it was headed to. But its size was so big, the sea around us was turbulent with a storm so great that it tossed the ship violently, making it difficult to keep me in position. Now during the storm, I suddenly saw a ladder leading straight down beneath the sea. The ladder was fixed and stable, unaffected by troubles by the storm. Despite the raging winds and waves, it didn't shake or sway. I thought it was going to lead to a place of safety, so I felt an urge to climb and descend the ladder. And as I descended, the storm seemed to fade away. Eventually, the ladder ended at the door of a grand hall. This place was very big, just in a new location. But I did not know that I was in a marine world. I was lost. I was alone outside the building. As I stepped inside, I met a grand coronation going on. The place was full of only men. I did not see any woman among the gathering. One could feel the reverence and sacredness in the atmosphere, making it clear that this was a spiritual event. The audience were glowing and radiating, most of them resembling angels, although they lacked wings. Only those conducting the coronation had wings. What got me confused was the fact that they were not in white garments. They were all in three colors, red, ash, and black garments. It was difficult for me to understand if the gathering was of which kingdom. At the center of this ceremony, I saw Michelle Obama, and she was the only one among the crowd that seemed to be a woman. I couldn't find any other woman among them apart from her. And it was like she was being coronated to a rank I couldn't quite comprehend. The only other person who looked human was the husband, Barack Obama, standing beside her, joining the spiritual beings in celebrating her. The atmosphere was one of pure joy, as if her ascension to this spiritual role was a great occasion for all present. Now, as I stood to watch them, she stood up with a scepter of authority given to her. She began to walk towards the passageway I had used to come inside. But this time, it wasn't a ladder. I saw a stairway. She followed them gradually, her husband by her side, ascending step by step on the stairway. In the dream, they were able to make their way up. And upon their arrival, I saw so many people greet Michelle Obama with great respect and admiration. It was clear that her presence had been transformed by the spiritual elevation she experienced. Everywhere she went, people accorded her with deep respect, recognizing the increment in her spiritual status. In the dream, I was now on a new footpath. The location was still unknown to me, and I was following a man in a purple robe along the footpath. The man told me that where I had just come from and what I had just seen was only a glimpse of a much deeper reality. I was given a discernment of Michelle Obama. The man told me she is not who I think she is. Her true nature and role extend far beyond what is commonly perceived. Michelle Obama holds a high spiritual position in the kingdom, one that transcends earthly titles and recognitions. The position she is about to take is not what many might expect. While it might seem like a transition into a presidential role or a public office, it is in fact something entirely different. 
One of the shocking truths he revealed to me was that the things I saw are a reflection of her true spiritual supremacy. She is on the verge of taking a role of immense significance in the spiritual realm. She will be greater and more influential than her husband. While he was held a prominent place on earth, her spiritual role will far exceed his in magnitude and importance. Then I woke up. I am still praying to the Lord to give me discernment of all that I saw. I am not going to base on my human knowledge and understanding to interpret this. But if anyone has an interpretation from the Lord about this, they can share it. Allow me to also share this with you. Many hold on to the notion that their sense of righteousness is what grants them favor with God. They believe that by adhering to their moral standards, they can earn their place in His grace. This belief is flawed, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Righteousness does not come through human effort or moral perfection, but through faith in Jesus Christ. It is not our deeds that redeem us, but the grace that is given through Him. God's love for His people is boundless and unconditional. He is not a distant figure but a loving Father who is with you at all times. He desires to fill your heart with His love, to offer comfort and to guide you through every trial. People need to release the burdens of self-righteousness and pride. We must embrace the love and grace that God extends to us. His love is not contingent upon your ability to meet certain standards but it is given freely and abundant. There is a need for sinners to turn to God in prayer and to invite Jesus into their hearts. This is not merely a ritual, but a heartfelt decision to accept His grace. Let us always read the Bible daily to understand His teachings and get baptized as a public declaration of our faith. Seek out a Bible-believing and Spirit-filled church to find community and support in your spiritual journey. God's love is real and personal. He longs for you to experience it deeply and intimately. We must receive grace and let His love transform us and walk in the assurance that we are cherished and forgiven. Now back to my dream. I feel it is important for all believers to pray in this current season. It was clear and powerful directive that felt as if it had been into my very soul. I understood that these prayers were crucial not only for personal lives, but for our nation as a whole. It is essential that we as believers come together into prayer to seek God's will. We needed to pray for guidance, strength and discernment so that His plan would come to pass in our lives and our nation. Thank you very much.